don't know. <laughs> My name is Melissa Holt. I'm the Drug Policy Education Group. Um, I have a very hard problem with this. If only patients or caregivers are allowed to make the edibles, the ABC has already come up with rules and regulations to prevent it from looking like candy, from looking like animals, and to package where it's not um, attractive to children. But you have patients that are critically ill, and in order to make the edibles, first you have to make the butter, which can take up to 48 hours. Then you have to actually make the edibles. So if you have someone who's critically ill, who needs this medicine, and they don't want to smoke it, which y'all passed through the committee to not allow them to smoke it, how are they supposed to use it? Oils are extremely expensive. Sometimes they can't use them. And sometimes the edibles are the only thing that they have. And yes, it does stay in your system longer. And that's why they want to use the edibles, because you want it to last longer. If you have someone who's in severe pain, you want them to be able to have that relief a, lot, you know, a longer time. So being able to buy the edible already made is going to be critical for patients. And it's done in every other state, and the ABC has already addressed that and already made rules and regulations to prevent children from being enticed by it. All right, thank you so much. Questions? All right, seeing none, thank you so much. All right, anyone in the audience want to speak for the bill? All right, seeing none. Oh, all right. All right. <laughs> anyone in the audience want to speak against the bill? Yeah. Uh, Representative House. Thank you, 